All right, what's up, everybody? I'm sorry about all the sweat, but just got through doing a little bit of shadow boxing. You know, I do my Wu-Tang. Um, got a question this morning. I'm, I left the question open over here on my desktop until after I got through working out so I could come back and answer real quick. And um, the question is from uh, W.A. Uh, Warren. He said that, you know, I recall in one vid you mentioned that the mom and pop agent sneaker shops are going. Now, typically, this will go into the inside of ties category, but because I did a video yesterday, um, and it was talking about from buyer to boss part one, and it was about selling shoes. Um, you can look at that video and get a little bit from that, but I'm going to go a, probably just a touch more in detail because of the question that he sent. So if this helps you remember, this isn't all about sneakers. So you can apply what I'm saying to almost any branch of sales, anything that you're interested in selling that you actually have a passion for. You can apply to any branch of business. All right. And and it will basically conform to any branch. So um, this is the rest of the question. He says, since the big companies cutting out the middleman, do you think consignment shops are still worth starting? If not, how can I create an online shop? Now, I gave him a very quick answer. I said, consignment shops are the perfect business. Um, this book, F speech is an inspiration. Now it's really small. You see how small it is. But I wrote it because I had a whole bunch of questions that I was asked before. Not a whole bunch, but a lot of people that would inbox me. Now you'll notice that even on this video, there's only like five views. I don't get a lot of views, but I do get a pretty considerable amount of questions. Um, so in chapter in this book, what I did was I, I basically gave a whole chapter seven. And that's on page 51, too, the idea of consignment shops. And this is the thing. Um, there's nothing surefire in business, period. You're going to spend some money and you're going to lose some money, but you can limit the amount of money you lose. Now, he asked me about an online shop. In this video yesterday, I talked about the fact that if you start your website, your website is automatically an online shop. You simply have to add ads or add affiliate codes and you don't have to buy anything. You just have to generate enough good information that people come to your website. They see what you want, what, what you are writing, and they might potentially click through and buy something. And that way you don't spend a dime, not one penny. All right. So what you have to think about in regard to this is how much do you want to spend if you're going to start an online shop? Right. Do you want to actually go out and buy a bunch of stuff? Or do you want to save yourself some money? And more than likely, if you're like me, you're going to save yourself some money and decide to start a website. Starting a website only costs 150 bucks, which is completely against what everyone thinks. It's only 150 bucks. That's it. And then you just have to find somebody that's, you know, cool enough to sit and talk to you for a while and help you get the thing started and launched. And it doesn't take very much time at all. All right. Now, most people will charge you upwards of two to five thousand dollars to give you a specific thing that you want on your site. But, you know, you can do it by yourself, you know, for free. Sorry about all the sweat. Now, he asked about the mom and pop thing. When I talk about mom and pop shops, I'm talking about those businesses that started with accounts. Now, when you have an account with a company, you have to buy a certain amount of shoes and then they don't necessarily give you the shoes that you want, specifically with a Nike or with an Adidas. You may not get a specific shoe but a consignment shop is a completely different thing if you stay in the city and you know that there are countless dudes out there flipping shoes then opening a consignment shop may not be a bad thing and this is why if you simply focus on the local brands the brands that are in your city you say yo bring all of your stuff over here to the shop and I'm basically setting up a local consignment shop only for the brands that are based in our city, then you can literally get everybody in your city to come and drop stuff off with you. All you have to do is pay the overhead for your building. Consigning is the perfect business. If you do it the right way, you can definitely, I mean, you can definitely make money. Now, with that said, nothing happens very quickly. So don't get into the idea that you think something's going to pop and be really fast. It just doesn't work that way. You have to be a little bit patient. But consignment shops are still worthwhile. They're definitely worthwhile, especially if you have enough channels to sell the things for people and they can't sell it for themselves. But, you know, I'll, I'll hold a book up one more time, man. It's like $3.99. Go buy the book. I promise you, man, you won't regret it. It's a good book and it's going to give you a whole lot of extra information. But as always, hit me with a question. Hopefully, I kind of got into that and answered it a little bit. Hit me with a question because I want to do more videos and answer questions.
But to answer the question, do I think consignment shops are still worth starting? Hell yes. Do it. Do I think online shops are worth starting? Hell yes. Do it. It's even better if you're not strictly pure play online and you actually have a brick and mortar location that people can find you at. So if you have both, you're really doing well. So, I mean, not doing well. Don't let me push you and hype you up so much that you run out and get you an overhead and all this other stuff. But a consignment shop is a good idea. An online store is definitely a good idea. I have some videos to show you how to build websites and things like that. They are back on the BBZ side. You can go and look at those. But I appreciate the question. W.A., peace. Time for me to get cleaned up, get all the sweat off me, man. But it was a good session this morning. I throw them things. It was whack. See you guys. Whenever somebody sends a question, I'll see you when somebody sends a question. Other than that, I'll drop those in. But I'm doing Inside of Ties every Tuesday. So you can go and check out Inside of Ties every Tuesday. And the website, I update every day. So you can go to the website and get some business information every day. That's it. Peace.